Do you want to create the beautiful power apps for your customer? Are you bored with the native control of Canvas app? Then this is the perfect video for you. This video is dedicatedly designed for UI UX for power apps. And in this video, we are going to talk about creator kit in power apps. Most of you have heard about creator kit, but have you explored all the components that are available as a part of creator kit? Don't worry, I am going to cover each individual component in detail throughout this entire series. So this is the first episode of this series and in this episode I am going to talk about what is creator kit, what does it offer and how you can get started with the creator kit. So stay tuned with me till entire series. Also if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me because these are the platform where I am uploading short content on power platform. So without further delay, let's get started and talk about Creator Kit in Canvas app. First of all, let me explain you what Creator Kit offers. So Creator Kit is something which is a combination of code component and PCF component as well as it is providing some developer productivity tools. Now over here on my screen, you can see that this is one of the sample of the Creator Kit. Over here, you can see that there are some beautiful components that are available over here. You can see some sort of bread come example, some sort of command bar, some sort of uh, expand menu. So different kind of things are ready to use available. You simply need to install this package and you can directly use all of this component into your Canvas app. I am really excited to try out this creator kit. So stay tuned with me. Now let's get started and install the creator kit. So over here I have opened one official Microsoft documentation and I'm going to provide the link in the description box. From here there is an option to download the creator kit as well as install directly using the app source. We are going to use a very easy technique with installation of app source. So let's do it. But before that we need to activate one of the feature from our admin center. For that, you need to open the Power Platform Admin Center. Click on the setting gear from top right corner and click on the Admin Center. This will redirecting you to this page. From here, you need to select the environment where you want to install the Creator Kit. I am selecting my default environment. Now over here, you need to click on the setting gear and expand the product option. Over here, there is an option Features. Expand that. From here, make sure that PowerApps Component Framework for Canvas App feature is turned on. If not, turn it on and save the changes. I already turned it on, so I'm not doing it again. So now let's start the installation process. Over here, we are going to use install with app source that will reduce your effort. So just click on install with app source. This will open the creator kit page. From here, you need to simply click on get it now. Then again, click on get it now. And you can see here, it is showing me that currently you are signed in with this account because I already opened my power apps over here with the same account. And if it asks you for login, use the same Office 365 account you have. I'm just clicking on get it now. And it is taking you to the Dynamics 365 page. And over here, you need to select the environment. It is showing you the publisher as well. So the publisher is Microsoft Corporation PowerCat team. So kudos for them. They have developed this creator kit for us. So I'm just selecting my default environment over here. You just need to uh, select uh, terms and condition. And once you do that, just click on installation. This will start installing the creator kit in your default environment. This will take some time to install the overall kit. Just wait for five to 10 minutes. And over here, you can see that creator key installation started at this time by this people. So let's wait for a couple of minutes. And after that, let's see what does it offer. So after five minutes, just try to refresh this page. And over here, you can see that after refreshing, the creator kit has been installed successfully. Now let's try to explore the different features of creator kit. Once your installation is completed successfully, you simply need to open make.powerapps.com. And if you go to the solution section, you can see three packages has been installed. One is creator kit core component. Second is creator kit references for canvas SEP and creator kit references for the model driven app. Apart from that, if you go to the app section, you will be able to see the different app like 
कैनवास टेम्पलेट क्रिएटर किट रेफरेंस ऐप फ्लू एंड थीम डिजाइनर एंड क्रिएटर किट रेफरेंस ऐप इफ यू ओपन द कंपोनेंट लाइब्रेरी यू कैन सी दैट पावर कैट कंपोनेंट लाइब्रेरी इज ऑल्सो बीन क्रिएटेड सो इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कंपोनेंट लाइब्रेरी पी सी एफ कंपोनेंट एंड सम स्टॉट ऑफ सैम्पल ऐप सो द इंस्टॉलेशन हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड सक्सेसफुली नाउ लेट्स चेक द कैनवास एप्स कंपोनेंट सो ओवर हियर देर इज वन रेडीमेड एप विच इज अवेलेबल विच इज क्रिएटर किट रेफरेंस ऐप एंड दिस इज द कैनवास ऐप सो वैन यू क्लिक ऑन दैट इट विल प्ले वन कैनवास ऐप ओवर हियर सिंपली क्लिक ऑन अलाउ एंड यू कैन सी दैट क्रिएटर किट रेफरेंस ऐप हैज बीन ओपन ओवर हियर यू कैन सी द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट लाइक दिस इज द नेविगेशन ओवर हियर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द ऑटो विथ लेबल सो इट इज लुकिंग लाइक दिस देर इज अ होल बंच ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ आईकॉन्स प्रोवाइडेड यू कैन सर्च अक्रॉस द आईकॉन देर इज ऑल्सो रिसाइजेबल टेक्सट एरिया इज वेल प्रोवाइडेड ऑल्सो देर इज अ ब्रेड कम्स सो दिस काइंड ऑफ ब्रेड कम कंपोनेंट इज ओवर हियर ऑल्सो देर इज अ कमांड बार ऑप्शन ओवर हियर सो दिज आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कमांड बार विच इज प्रोवाइडेड दैन Uh, when you click on the code it is providing you the code as well over here like how to configure it and all then there is a collapse expand menu so this is a very good navigation menu then there is a context menu navigation pan so over here you can see that this is beautiful collapse expand sections over here there is a pivot option and you can see that the name of each component is being uh, mentioned on the top of the app and also the description is also being provided also the base practices for each individual component is also being provided over here if you don't want to read it don't worry from next video i'm going to cover each individual component in detail where we will add this component into our canvas app and use it with our real app then uh, you can just try to explore after installing the stuff this is the first thing you can do you can just check how many type of component does it provide and just try to explore those things in detail from here you can explore the different type of progress bar spinners progress indicator then different type of dialogs so this kind of beautiful dialogs you can create over here you can see different type of utilities and all so this is the canvas app sample similar way you can open your model driven app over here as well so just open it up and it is showing you the different uh, pcf components for the model driven app as well in the canvas page and all so you can see these are some basic inputs similar kind of things we do have over here as well so these are some beautiful calendar picker tag picker right so this is providing you as a very beautiful interface right so just try to explore it and also it is providing you the canvas template as well so if you edit it you can just use this app as a template so you can just simply save as and on top of that you can build your own applications so it is just providing you this warning and just clicking on update and just load these components now you can see that this is the template app and over here if you go here you if you can expand your code component so all your code components are being added and this is the library component all right so all the library components are added here so library component are nothing but your canvas app components that you have built so those are available over here and these are all the pcf component which are available all right and this is the app in which all the components has been added over here otherwise if you start from scratch you need to manually add the component so let me show you that process as well if you don't want to use a template that's fine let's create our own canvas app so i'm just uh, providing a new app name over here creator kit over here you need to click on this plus icon and you need to click on the get more component so over here there are two sections canvas component and code component so code component are responsible for pcf component so over here you can see that owner is powercat team and over here you can see the different component provided by them so you can simply select them and just import that component or and let's say if you want to uh, import some sort of canvas component 
from the component library there is a component library called powercat component library you can simply select the component from here and just import it in your app and just utilize it all right so that's it for first episode you successfully installed the creator kit for your uh, environment and now just try to explore that in detail also in the comment section add your feedback that do you want my upcoming videos on the creator kit or are you good like it's easy for you to understand the things and all so just provide your feedback in the comment section so i can create the upcoming videos based on that so that's it for today if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram if you are looking for power apps training or any type of consultation for power platform in power bi or power apps on power automate then this is my website link just fill up the contact form over there all the links on my social media handles like twitter instagram linkedin podcast all things are available over here on the channel cover page as well as you can find all the links in the description box so stay tuned with me on all my social media handles with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye